Hi guys! Ito na naman muli si Azam's Adventures and Travel. Today is my 6th year anniversary here in Canada. April 6th po. Pang 6 na taong ko na po. 6 years of being here. Ano nga ba mga experiences ko dito sa Canada for 6 years? And na pwede ko lang i-short story ng 13 minutes. I have lots of uh, experiences here in Canada for six years. Most of them are bad. Not all good guys. <laughs> bad experiences that uh, is planted in my heart that I will carry it until the day I die. My first day here in Canada, I will start on my first day here in Canada. The first night. We arrived at uh, Vancouver Airport in British Columbia and uh, on that night a friend of Andre picked up us at the airport and uh, we stayed on the house of his comrades and of course <laughs> uh, the lady offered um, red wine on that night and we have a little time to play. We played with the granddaughter and I will not mention any name in here. But that memory will not vanish until the day I die. <laughs> yes, and I, it was a cultural shock for me. It's because the lady, I don't, I'm not aware that she's drinking in the kitchen and while drinking with us. Ayon, and so nag-inuman kami. Pero red wine lang po yun. Kunti lang po yun na inom ko. Just a little bit. I drink a little bit. But the lady's already drinking sa kitchen. <laughs> so, she's a little bit drunk maybe. Because I saw uh, one bottle, empty bottle, on the kitchen. And uh, while well, she's drinking with us too. And suddenly, Andre was uh, standing uh, beside the fridge, she was, he's standing like that, and the lady started to go to Andre and touching her body to uh, his body and licking his neck up to here and whispering, You are handsome and younger than my husband. You look so handsome, more handsome than my husband. Imagine that, and I was there in front of him. And Andre seems like enjoying it. And I, I'm just staring at him. He, he don't do anything. He never push the woman. Or he never say, oops, time out. No. He, but when he saw me staring at him, that's the only time that he moved a little bit. But no words at all. And then at the night, I said, please, book me. I want to go back home. What is that, right? What is your relationship with that woman? And she is the wife of your comrades. Nothing, he said. He was also shocked, and that's all. And of course, we, we argue about it. And I want to go home on that night, but he don't book me. Instead, we travel. We travel and we pick up other things on different houses. And we stopped on another comrades. We slept there. And uh, another lady came over to pick him up. And he just left me there. <laughs> he left me there on that house. And I don't know the people. I was at the basement waiting for him. He was away for a couple of hours. Imagine. And that's my second night. I have... A bad experience on my first night and same thing on the second night yeah a lady uh, came over to uh, and asked him to go because they have important things to to talk to and he never asked me to go with him that was my second night and as we travel I really want to go home because my I don't have a peace of mind and we go to Quebec. In Quebec, it was a long drive from Vancouver 
to Quebec, but we stopped to come to Andrew's comrades many times. And so um, sometimes I drove also because I can use my license here. When you're in new, you can use your license, driver's license for three months, Philippine driver's license, okay? So we proceeded to Quebec and when I, we were in Quebec, I was, it was so, I think middle of the night and I really don't like to get out of the car. But of course I was there already after a long, long time of being in the car. I decided to go out and stay and look what place am I going to live. And of course it was shocking also. Uh, Andre lives in a cabin, but when I get inside of that house, it's so messy, super messy. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you my experience. This is my true experience. And it took me two weeks to clean the house, that cabin. Yeah, I think the last time who stayed on that place was Andre's daughter and a nephew. Yes, and uh, <laughs> you have a house in the Philippines, you come here and you will be staying uh, in a small cabin where the bathroom is just a, where you can just move yourself and a, bath, a toilet that you can just, you will just sit down and almost you cannot do anything because it's too small. That's a cabin here. It's, uh, I think that's not a one meter wide. No, it's not even a one meter. One, one by one. No, it's not a one meter. It's less than one meter wide and width and length. Yes, and it's a shocking. It's a very shocking to me. But, well, I was there already, so I have to endure everything. I have to be patient. So, I stayed there, and I need to find a job. So, uh, Andre has a lot, a property in uh, Magog. So, I help him cut the trees and move the logs, the cheddar logs, that uh, he wants to use it in building his trim house. So, we carried it, lots of logs, guys. And so, uh, after that, I have a new friend who helped me to find a job so uh, I work in Brumont Hotel as a housekeeper you cannot choose your profession here in Canada guys you need to upgrade to be able to get a good job so for that time being I work as a housekeeper in a hotel so it's tough it's new job but it's very tough job. You clean the rooms that is being assigned to you. And of course, you have to do the laundry of the sheets, the towels, and fold them and put it back. So that uh, the next day, when you do the cleaning again, you have things to use. It's so hard, but I have to do it. The feeling of missing your family, the things that is happening since my day one, the pain and everything, I have to be strong. And when I came here, I forgot to uh, bring a running shoes they called it running shoes here but it's a rubber shoes we use the rubber shoes so to work so i can use it for working at that time i don't have it i have so many stories that i want to share it's not being dramatic but this is my true experience here in canada how my life started here and how i concur all the and the heavy feelings that I have missing my house, missing my family, friends, and my life, my medical missions, and everything. Everything is new. But uh, yeah, and so I work as a housekeeper. 
and I have lots to share guys but for this time that's how I started my six years here in Canada until now I'm suffering from loneliness sadness boredom because I'm all I'm alone here Andre is at work sometimes he come home you will just watch him having a meeting six hours meeting we don't even have a chance to talk nicely because I have something in here. He is home, but he is almost not home because he is on the meeting for six hours. And if he is free, someone is calling all the time. A comrade calling, even when he is in bed, someone's talking to him. And when he is away, he is chatting. He is chatting. So sweet chats. But he doesn't even ask how I am sometimes. Oh, that's enough for today. Please um, bear with me on my six years here in Canada. Uh, I'm just opening up what's inside of me. Thank you guys for watching Asian Adventures and Travel. And I want my family to know that you think I'm okay, but I'm not. The loneliness, it's hard to conquer. It's hard to fight. The homesickness, it's so hard. So for those who have a family that is away, please talk to them if you can. Because you don't know what they're having every day. She sticks, stand your love as much as you can because you don't know how lonely they are like me. I, I miss all of you guys, my friends, especially my family, of course, my relatives, the fun that we have there. You can't find it here. The love that we have for each other, you can't find it here. I miss all of you and I'd love to see you again. I don't know when. Please help me to be strong. I'm having difficulties this time. Take care and see you around. God bless everyone. That's thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye for now. Sorry for being too emotional, but this comes from my heart.